Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gilbert, and I'm with Interactive Utopia, and I'm here today to try to help you out create your first PDF file uh, using PHP. All right. Well, PHP and FPDF, uh, PDF generator library. So, uh, you know, you should already have everything set up on your website, uh, or I'm sorry, on your server, you know, ready to run PHP. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight into the code and show you how to do it. So the first thing is you got to go to fpdf.org, which is going to be the library uh, official website. You can go to downloads, download the latest zip file. Uh, in my case, it's from December 7, 2019, that's the latest version, uh, which it, it is compatible with PHP 7.4, I believe. Uh, so you're gonna download it and then you're gonna decompress it. And from there, you're gonna pull a couple files into your project directory. Uh, I'm gonna go into Visual Studio Code. Let me just hide this real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go into Visual Studio Code and then I'm gonna be, uh, showing you pretty much what I've done. I created an underscore ink folder in which I transfer the fpdf.php file from the ones that you just downloaded and the font folder. The font folder, it's gonna have all the fonts that are uh, needed uh, in order to create the PDF file. And this is just gonna be the uh, FPDF class uh, that, that we're gonna be using, okay? Uh, there's a couple more files in here. Um, that's really, that's configuration, so don't worry about that one. There's an index file um, that I created just for so that we can. There's a ways that you you can actually access the example on on the website. So if you go to interactiveutopia.com forward slash examples forward slash fpdf, then you're gonna get this sample page, which is pretty much it has a link over to the. Uh, the FPDF official website that we just talked about, and then we're gonna have the minimal example. I just linked to it, but at the moment, as you can see, it's an empty file. So let's get started. Uh, still the file that we're gonna, we wanna start parsing PHP, and then we're gonna be requiring the um, FPDF class, which is on, on the underscore ink folder, and then fpdf.php. Uh, you got to love Visual Studio Code because it, it has a lot of auto-completion uh, assistance, so that makes your life way easier. So now let's create a new PDF class. Alrighty. Uh, give me a couple mistakes. So if you go to the FPDF class, you can see it's called uh, uppercase FPDF. So that's what we're creating. Now that we have it set up, we can work with it. Uh, let's start by adding a page. Again, auto completion, it's your best friend. Uh, after we add the page, then we can set the font. And then you can see it tells you pretty much all the information that it's needed. Um, so the family, Arial. Let's do bold, B for bold. That's the textile. And then for the size, let's do an 18. Finish the line. Then we're going to be creating a cell. That's basically where the... Um, the text is going to go into and then that's what's going to be displayed uh, the first thing that it's asking you for is going to be a width so let's just give it a width of 80 then it's going to need a height let's give it a height of 10 and then we're going to need the content of course it's going to say hello world all right and then we're going to close the line the last thing we got to do output Um, the file. All right. So I'm going to save it. You can see down here it was uploading. It says it's done. So let's go over to our website. Uh, you don't need to refresh. Uh, just I'm used to it. And then let's click on the example. Hope that it works. And there we go. Hello world. Let's try something else. Hello world. Um, 
let's save that. It, it uploaded. Crash it. And there we go. Uh, so that's about it. As I mentioned, it's pretty simple to make it happen. Uh, you just need to have the library, download it, install it, upload it to your server, uh, make sure that everything's connected properly, and then you can go at it. Uh, there's, if, if you go to the PDF website, they have a manual in there that pretty much tells you you know all the different things that you can do with the file uh you know we just use add page we use sale uh we use set font uh we use output there's also something called multi cell which is pretty much uh, a cell is just one line multi cell is going to be multiple lines uh then you have a line break uh you know there's just image uh there's there's a lot of things that you can add to it you can also add a separate uh class where you create a header that you can be reusing on all the pages you create a footer so it, it it's very uh, customizable and really good to work on i've used it in a couple of projects a couple you know some of my commercial projects and uh they you know all the customers they they love it it's 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 really it's it's a good solution and you can pretty much make whatever you want with it and integrate it with all your your back end you know it's 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 really cool so yeah that's about it if you have any questions please please feel free to reach out and leave it in the comment box below or send me an email and i'll be more than happy to help you out thank you and i'll see you on the next video goodbye